Hey, welcome back, everybody. Drone Tech here. Uh, I have to apologize ahead of time just for putting you all through this, but you know, misery does love company. And if I got to go through this, I do feel a little bit better knowing that you're all going going through it with me and experiencing the same thing. So today on the View, they are. For some reason, once again, letting Whoopi Goldberg just spew a bunch of nonsense. I don't. I guess they're not worried about it. Uh, but you may remember I've said, going back 20 years, if you follow me that long, that the left is particularly dangerous because they can rationalize anything. And here we have yet another glimmering example of that, where on the spew, they are Whoopi anyway called for, and they all agreed that Fox News should be prosecuted should be the government should go in there they should shut down fox news and then they should prosecute the journalists at fox news for recruiting domestic terrorists yes and that's what i mean by rationalizing they want to shut somebody up they don't like and so they just rationalize in their head oh we can do this because they're recruiting domestic terrorists completely insane but you got to see for yourself here we go I have a question yeah. i have a question mm -hmm. how come this is not thought of as being recruiting. How come they're not thinking about like this as domestic? How, okay, so she's talking about Fox News, uh, I guess uh, this January 6th footage and putting it out. They keep accusing Fox and Tucker of lying. I don't know what they think they're lying about. They're just showing footage, footage that these people apparently think should be hidden by the government. And so that's what's going on. And, uh, you know, the First Amendment, that's what's going on. We have free speech in America, Whoopi. Radicalizing. Why isn't, why, why is this not being scrutinized the way that they scrutinize other yeah. uh, well, things? It, because to me, this... Wait, <laughs> the way they scrutinize other uh, uh, things. What, Whoopi, what are you talking about? I have no idea what she's talking about so far. Do you? This, is, this should be against the law. You should not be able yeah. to lay, to lie to the American knowingly. And, you know, it's one thing if you made a mistake and you didn't know, but we heard for five or six years how, you know, the media was yeah. lying, sack of do, they were fake news, yeah. they were this. So how come? What? Those are opinions, Whoopi. Like, they always say this. How can you knowingly lie? Like, how does she know that people are knowingly lying? They're giving their opinions. Like, how do we know that she's not knowingly lying everything she's saying right now? You should be prosecuted, Whoopi, because you're knowingly lying right now. I somehow know, like, these people want us to live in the movie Minority Report. And, you know, I always say 1984, you know, that's pretty cliche at this point. But, you know, just the other day, Whoopi said that it's like 1984 that uh, Tucker Carlson is showing this footage that up till now the governments the uh, the government the democrats and the media have all been hiding this footage from the public and now for tucker to show it she thinks is just like 1984 which makes no sense in fact her saying that is more like 1984 than anything tucker's doing what is that what is our what do we do as americans to to say this is not okay. I You'd think have to tie into the First Amendment. <laughs> yeah. I think you well, no, well, but the I First think Amendment doesn't, doesn't allow you to willingly lie. <laughs> first of all, it, it does actually. You can willingly lie with the First Amendment. Like, how are you going to police that? How do you know when someone's willingly lying or not? You can take um, a, a test for that sort of thing. But and then there's things like the Salem witch trials where they like dunked witches into the into the water, you know, until they told the truth. Like uh, this is just this is getting into crazy territory. And it, you would think that somebody here on this show would have some sense to be like, ah, let's tone this back. No, no, they go full bore. Here we go. Yeah. Can I just say one thing? I Whoopi's think Tucker right Carlson this. is more destructive to American political discourse than Donald Trump, and I think he's more powerful. <laughs> I think they're him. all destructive because they lie willingly. But oh. this, just, I mean, this is a man who basically goes on his airwaves and says, you know, what would be so bad if Putin won or against Ukraine? Yeah, he says say insane that. things. He wait, wait. All right. So I looked into this. I, she's on on the show. They've said this before. I couldn't find anywhere Tucker saying that, uh, those words anyway. I searched. I did find a couple of videos where Tucker's talking about the war and talking about the uh, uh, possible peace deals that could have been made before it got this far and that people like Joe Biden actually stood in the way of that uh, and that instead of peace deals uh, that Biden was pushing regime change in Russia. 
Okay, and the reason Tucker has an issue with that is because he, like many of us, me included, are worried about this escalating to a point of World War III and then worldwide nuclear war. I don't know why people like this uh, don't seem concerned about that at all. Maybe because they already have their bunker spots picked out. They already know that, you know, if it does go south, you know, they're going to be in an underground bunker somewhere, so they'll be fine. But... You know, Tucker has made clear on these in these pieces. You can go find them yourself. But he makes very clear in these that he's not pro Putin. He, you know, he he's a, he's anti war in this case, and he's right because this can quickly escalate. It can quickly go out of control. And why aren't we looking for peace? People like this idiot, this moron, say that to suggest that is pro Putin. You're pro Russia. These people are just like those during the Iraq war. Uh, back then, anytime people ask questions about the Iraq war, a lot of times they would get called pro terrorists. Oh, you're, you're not with us. You're with the terrorists. I, uh, George W. Bush even said that if you're not with us, you're with the terrorists. And at the time it was widely mocked, but now today, apparently, uh, it's back in style because it's the exact same thing. Yes. Hits Americans against each other knowingly, lying to them, and he's even <laughs> if it's not. I'm sorry, I, I keep stopping it. He pits them against each other, really. Like you're doing right now. That's the common theme about this entire thing. Uh, I'll kick it back here a little bit and replay it, but you're gonna notice a common theme, and it's gonna be the usual lack of self awareness. Let me just kick it back a little bit. And allow you to willingly lie. Yeah. Can I just say one thing? I think Whoopi's Tucker program. Carlson is more destructive to American political discourse than Donald Trump, and I think he's more powerful. I disagree. I think you guys are destructive because they lie be... willingly. But this, just, I mean, this is a man who basically goes on his airwaves and says, you know, what would be so bad if Putin won or against Ukraine? Yeah. He says yeah. insane yeah. things. He yes. pits Americans against each other, knowingly lying to them, and he's even if it's not Trump, whoever the next Republican politician is. They're going to have to win the Tucker Carlson he's, he's primary. Just a, he's just an entertainer, though. He's because not the news. The judge, the judge found that. But Whoopi, you, you just said <laughs> something I don't think I've ever heard. On These people are just entertainers. Like, again, I'm sorry, but over and over again, we're seeing that the things they're accusing Tucker of, you could easily accuse them of. But somehow they have absolved themselves from these standards they're not worried that the standards that they now want to apply they want to use the government to shut down fox news one of their competitors and the administration's biggest critics okay they want the government to come in and shut that down and then prosecute the journalists at fox news like that is completely insane like the one network out there that is really critical of this administration and the left's ideology in general let's shut that down uh, silence it forever and then imprison the people who worked at Fox that's literally what they want to do but if we then turn that around on them and then said that we want to imprison them for the things they say do you think they'd be like oh yeah that totally would, would all you know the uh, studio audience all be applauding like train seals I doubt it oh rarely about about domestic terrorism yes because you had the FBI director Chris Ray say <laughs> the number one threat to our country mm -hmm. to the survival of our democracy is domestic terrorists how do you recruit domestic terrorists how do you do that misinformation yep. having these kinds of rallies saying these things yeah, yeah. Rallies. Sub yeah. and someone with sub Tucker Carlson you would know better than I do how many millions and millions of viewers we get the three most million yeah. on this show that's a lot he's the I'm most really proud watched of man in cable he gets news. more than that so and then yes yeah, except for newsbusters I mean it seems like that's the that's what's really bothering them the fact that Tucker Carlson gets way more views, way more audience than them. Get rid of Tucker Carlson and then somehow they'll get that audience. I don't know. It just seems completely wild that these women who on multiple occasions have told lies themselves and it's well documented. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that Whoopi was saying that white people need to get beat up. She, she went out and said, oh, maybe white people need to get beat up by police. You think maybe that might recruit some extremists to go out and do what you're bidding, what you just called for? Or how about when The View uh, backed up AOC, when AOC was calling ICE facilities concentration camps. Joy Behar and the rest of The View backed her up and even went further saying that Trump was moving towards exterminating illegal immigrants, right? But then there were attacks on ICE facilities by left-wingers, okay? So there they were spreading misinformation on The View that literally led to terrorist attacks on ICE facilities. But do you think that the standard that they've now set up will uh, should be applied to them? Of course not. And that's what's so dangerous about these people. I 
honestly do not put it past them someday, soon even, to start calling for the mass arrest, the mass rounding up of all of us who say things that they don't like. And they'll tell themselves that, oh, no, this is okay because I'm stopping terrorism. If I just lock up all these people who are saying these things that I don't like, which they never confront either. I mean, look, the Republican the Republican on their show just said that it doesn't matter who replaces Trump. They're going to be worse than Hitler, which is true. That's the way it always is. It goes back to George W. Bush, who they claim to love now, but... He was everything they call Trump now back then. Same with uh, Romney and the same with McCain. It, they just do it with whoever the prominent figure is. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. Please, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And then as always, make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.